Hello, today we're going to be tackling a project which has been on our list for about six months ever since we upgraded our solar equipment about six months ago. We ordered a whole load of stuff including some new panels. We never got around to putting them up but we're going to fix that today. And so by the end of this video we won't just have these six here, we'll also have these six down here. More like on that angle. Yeah. Okay. Based on that middle one, which yeah, is... the middle one is probably the most correct. Yeah, okay. I mean, you could fill that with a piece of something. But it's it's probably easier if we just spin them because, like you said, this yeah. the foot doesn't sit exactly. perfectly. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter because we can run them long then that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or a little bit long. Cool. Okay. Is that Very. special? They do, yeah. Put it on the edge. You want it on this one? Yes. I'll write on the so 1350 from the go right from the edge because you can put that right there. Oh, so it's been much closer. Then. Yes. So it's probably worth mentioning that the way we're mounting these solar panels is not their final destination, this is very much a temporary solution. In the future we're planning to build a large carport, garage, storage structure which will have space for mounting up to 20 solar panels on the roof. But that building needs planning permission and that's going to take quite a while and we need more power in the short term. Because this is a temporary solution, we didn't want to invest too much money into it. The pallets are recycled and the aluminium supports that we've got will be reused on the roof of the carport in the future. We've had no issues at all with the first set of mounts that we built in a fairly similar way to this, so we're confident that this solution will work for the time being. And because I know some people like the numbers, the first six panels that we had were 400 watts each, giving us a total of 2.4 kilowatts of solar generation. The six new ones that we're adding here are 485 watts each, so that will give us a combined total of 5.3 kilowatts when everything is all connected up.
have negative cable to negative to positive to negative to positive to negative etc all the way back there so i've just done a dry fit to make sure i know where all my cables are going they're cabled back to the shed i'm going to plug it all in and make sure it works and then tidy up the cables afterwards. Just so there's a bit of context in terms of what we've got at the moment with the existing six panels, which is 2.4 kilowatts of maximum solar generation, we are bringing in 990 watts and the batteries are at 89% state of charge. It is 11.30 in the morning. So we're gonna wire in these panels, which should give us more than double the uh, input power. And uh, yeah, if it all works, we will have more power. Positive to positive. Negative to negative. Well, that's promising. Also promising. So the good news is everything is working properly. We've got more power coming in. It has just gone 12 o'clock and we've got 1,500 watts coming in, which is more than the 900 odd that we had before. Uh, it's not a particularly sunny day today, so it's not like a super impressive difference, but we have got more power coming in, which is the most important thing. There's not much more to say. I'm gonna tidy the cables up a bit and uh, just neaten everything up and uh, wrap this project up. But it is one that has been on our list for months now. And so it's good to finally tick it off. It means we can move on to something else. And I think Kylie already has. So uh, I'm gonna go and find her, see what she's up to and uh, probably start making another video. Anyway, thanks for joining us for this small project. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.